Pays today. I love the it. six week plan to shred four inches and two sizes. This doesn't even feel like a diet. So we put six viewers on the plan. Get results like this. I lost the inches, I lost the weight. I feel like a million bucks. Don't spend 2013 in your fat pants. An hour full of solutions. Next. Breakthrough diet to help you finally keep your New Year's resolution. The promise? In just six weeks, you can shred four inches and two dress sizes. And the best part of this plan? You lose that one piece of clothing that symbolizes everything you hate about extra weight. Your fat pants. So I want everyone to stand up and show me your fat pants. Let me see it there. Display it proudly because it's going to be the last time you're going to have it because we're getting rid of those fat pants today. I want you to take those fat pants and pass them down, toss them in that bin. Shoot them from a distance. Now be angry about it. Get rid of those. There we are. Here, I got some. Oh, I'm proud. Oh, I love this. I love this. Proud of you. Ebony, where are your fat pants? Dr. Oz. And how long have you been wearing those fat pants? Dr. Oz, I feel like I've been wearing my fat pants forever. I really can't think of a time where I wasn't wearing my fat pants. And about three years ago, when I had my son, it just seemed like the hill got so much uh, steeper for me to get out of those fat pants. Yeah. And today, they're in the bin. Well, Tanya, how do your fat pants make you feel? They make me feel very frustrated, Dr. Oz. It's like my crutch, um, my go-to pants when you gain the weight and you lose the weight and you gain it back again. So I'm looking for something to get off that yo-yo and get on track for 2013. Pass them up here. Pass them up here. They're going away. And Christina, why is it so important for you to get rid of your fat pants? Because my fat pants have become a security blanket and I wasted the end of my 20s wearing those pants and I'm ready to start my 30s healthy, happy, and not in my fat pants. You all excited about this? Oh, yeah. Get comfortable. There is one man, one man who says you will never need your fat pants again. Just give him six weeks and he will shred four inches and two sizes. Please welcome Dr. Ian Smith. Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. What gave you the idea to come up with this shred plan? You know, it's interesting. Um, I had told my editor a long time ago, I'm not writing any more diet books. I've done it. You've done it also. I said, I've said everything I had to say about it. And then I had friends who were calling me who had reached a plateau on my other programs and said, I need something to get this weight loss off. I have 20 pounds left. So I created what I called the secret weapon. And this weapon was to be able to get them to burn those last 15, 20 pounds. And so I only gave it to my friends. So every once in a while, a new friend would call me and say, do you have something? I'd email it to him. Well, that was fine. I was still done with diets. And then my Twitter followers said, we need help losing weight. I started tweeting them some of the program, and the results were absolutely amazing. They were losing five, six pounds in a week, 20 pounds uh, in six weeks. And so I said to my editor, uh, I'm back and writing diet books again because this thing is going crazy. It's just been an unbelievable experience. Why call it shred? I mean, I just love the term. Yeah. But Be why pick that? Because I feel as though dieting is 80% mental. And I want people to be able to visualize what they're doing when they're losing weight. So I wanted people to realize you are shredding that fat. You are getting shredded as you're through this process. So if you can, every time you see that book or, or that word shred, you think what's happening in your physiology as well as what's happening mentally. And you're a world-class expert in this area. Why do you think this diet is so effective? Well, I think that, you know, what people like about it is it's very accessible. I don't believe in perfection, by the way. I have pizza, chocolate cake, hamburger sometimes. This diet says, I want you on balance to be healthier, but not perfect. And so people love the idea that it's regular food you can get in any grocery store. Um, it's easy to follow because it's very well detailed. And I think that people can stick to it. They, people say to me all the time, this doesn't even feel like a diet. I just feel like I'm eating better. As I read through the book, you, you talked about diet confusion. Yes. This is a very important principle. If you want to shred weight... What Ian's about to share with us is critically vital. So explain what this whole concept of yours is, is innovative. Sure. I, I coined the term diet confusion based, as you know, on muscle confusion. Muscle confusion says that when you've stopped growing your muscles, you've reached a plateau and can't get any bigger, that you actually change what you do. Your exercises change to confuse the muscles and increase progress. Same thing with diet. 
If you eat the same foods all the time, your body becomes habituated to the same types of food and the metabolism is stable. With diet confusion, we switch our foods all the time, within the day, day to day, and week to week, and people realize that keeps their metabolism going when they are doing their diet confusion. Come join me. I want to show the audience exactly why diet confusion is so important and why Diet Ian is talking about it with such passion. So a lot of you try to do the right things. And this is your metabolism, right? Your yep. metabolism is pretty balanced. You think that's a good thing. And oftentimes it is. But when you're trying to lose weight, it actually sabotages you. So let's say you eat the same thing every day. So Ian, grab something over there, right? Eat the same thing every day. What happens? Not much your metabolism. So fat begins to accumulate. Now, that fat normally would be burnt off, but because you're so stable, nothing destabilizes your body, so you hold on to fat. And more and more fat accumulates, and before you know it, you're building up a, a ponderous amount of fat over here. Now, you think you want to go on a diet, so you keep eating, you're eating good things even, but they're the same thing. And because you have the same thing every day, the fat just keeps building up. It doesn't go anywhere. So what Ian is arguing is if you want to shred this fat, what you have to do is push your metabolism off kilter. So let's take these off, and instead, I'll pretend that I'm doing Ian's program, and I throw an orange in there, and then I throw something else in there, and all of a sudden, all the fat begins to fall through the cracks, and as it goes away, you begin to catch up. Then, Ian, go ahead, he eats something different. And if he eats things different, that fat, it doesn't know where to go. It starts heading in the wrong direction for it, but good for you. And soon there's back and forth and back and forth. You add more food on one day, next week a little more the other side. You get the point. You've turned your body into a seesaw to get rid of these fats. So you don't have to take the fat that you've got in your life and juggling it like you have to all the time. So, Ian, stop playing back there. Sure. <laughs> I want to understand, because you mentioned a couple of numbers before, what kind of results are you seeing with folks who are on the plan? Well, I first said to people, it's not just about the pounds you lose, it's also about your sizes. So I was saying to people, we had 5,000 people try the program ahead, ahead of time. The average weight loss in six weeks was 20 pounds, but more importantly, people lost four inches and two dress sizes. So people always are obsessed about the number, Dr. Eisen. Yeah. You know, it's also about your physiognomy. What, what do you look like? What do you feel like? And... The results are just the best I've ever had in a program with, the, with, with, with Shred. Just so as much as I enjoyed the book, I actually wanted to put some of our viewers on the plan. So we put six viewers on the plan for the full six weeks. Let's see how it went. Four meals a day and three snacks a day has been a big change for me. The diet's going well today. I feel like I'm really sticking with it. I ate cauliflower for the first time in my life. It was not the best thing in the life, but I ate it. I have lost five pounds this week. I am amazed at how much food there is to eat. I was thinking about possibly doing some sit-ups. Not. Have a higher proportion of vegetables, definitely, and watch my serving sizes. Moderation is the key. It's carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli. Carrots is not my favorite thing, but I'm trying to be good. Some delicious raspberries and blueberries. Coconut milk, two scoops of protein powder, and then I'll just have some berries. There we go. One protein shake. Cheers. I feel a little better. I feel a little lighter. Uh, day one of week five, it's our cleansing week. I'm making my third meal of the day, and it's a sandwich. We are allowed to have either like a turkey or a chicken sandwich. I've lost 11 pounds, um, and I've lost four inches off my waist. Do I think the plan is working? Yes. So our shred dieters are joining us in the audience. Tashara went from size 18 to size 14, and she lost six inches. I mean, look at that difference. Wow. Tashara. How hard was the plan? It was hard, Dr. Oz, Dr. Ian. Um, I had been eating really badly before, so you know, the first couple of weeks were a big challenge for me. Um, you have to stay on track as far as eating on time and packing a lot of meals. And, um, but it was all worth it. You know, I, <laughs> I lost the inches. I lost the weight. I feel great, and I'm just so thankful. Well, I'm happy for you. Selena, Thank you. stand if you don't mind. So it went from size 18 to 14. She lost five and a half inches. Again, big difference. It's just in six weeks. Selena, what was the toughest week of the six that you were on the program? Um, week three and week five was the hardest for me. Week three because it was when the diet plan gave us the least amount of food to eat. But 
week five is when I got like I was ready for it to be over, to be <laughs> honest with you. But I'm so glad I stuck through it because my coworkers and everybody see the difference in me. Yeah. The pound wasn't as high, but the inches and my figure, I'm very happy. <laughs> you know, in week three, by the way, I, I say in the book, it is meant to be your toughest week, and we'll talk about it later, but it's meant to be tough for you because it's going to the bottom and then coming back up. Right. Yep. And Debbie, yes. thank you very thank much. Thank you. Debbie went from size 14 to 10. She lost three and a half inches. <laughs> After just six weeks, how do you feel? I feel like a million bucks. I really do. Um, I know that sounds cheesy, but I really do. I feel so much less bloated. And like you said, Dr. Ian, at the beginning, it's not about perfection. I didn't follow the plan perfectly, but I made it work for me, and I still lost two sizes and three and a half inches, and I couldn't feel any better. Well, keep smiling. Keep Thank smiling. You. Thank you. All right, take a look at the average fat shredded in just six weeks. Your average inches shred, four inches, as promised by Dr. Ian. Your average size is shredded, two sizes, as promised by Dr. Ian. And the average weight loss was nine pounds. Well, the question then is, how can you get results like this? Up next, we'll take you step by step through this breakthrough plan to shred your fat for good. Stay with us. <laughs> Up next, meal plans to shred fat with lots of food. This will fill you up, but also keep your hormones stable. How to avoid the trap that puts on weight. You spike up your insulin, and then...